overview of our program here as far as English goes. Uh, we, we meet those standards that we're supposed to meet. We meet the graduation requirements. Uh, we meet the application requirements for the UCs and the CSUs. Now the beautiful thing about that is because we do that, we pretty much meet the application requirements for colleges around the country. Uh, we offer a wide variety of competitive sports and club sports here on the coast side. But uh, you know, we try to differentiate our education and physical education and uh, teach more about being a good teammate, respecting one another. You know, it's not always about who scores the most, who whose team is winning. So we really recommend students take a science. It covers geology, of course, but also you know weather and climate and space and climate change and some really important topics. 11th grade is U.S. history, so most of you are in U.S. history now, I'm assuming probably with Mr. Cox, the vast majority of you. So you'll do U.S. history till about the end of the Civil War, Reconstruction, and then when you come here as juniors, you're going to remember everything from Mr. Cox, and we start with Reconstruction to the present time, although we do do about a five or six week review unit of eighth grade. I'm going to try and answer all your questions that you might have about signing up for a math course or signing up for a computer science course and I'm assuming you're all eighth graders here. Are we about eighth graders? Mm -hmm. Okay, so exciting. So hopefully you all love math. We have art spectrum is our beginning class. It's a little bit of drawing, a little bit of painting, a little bit of sculpture, a little bit of design. All four of the teachers teach art spectrum, so we meet together, we collaborate together, we change lessons, each one of us kind of has a lead lesson, and it's exciting for me to, let's say, learn a digital art program, right, because that's not in my skill set. Uh, Ms. Anderson teaches the digital art program. Uh, we have two Spanish programs here at the high school. Right? If you are an immersion uh, student, you're going to come directly here, okay? So we expect you to speak Spanish, you know, to write it okay, Sure, mistakes are allowed, like any time, right? But you will not speak English in the class. So that's one of the things we do. Uh, here, this is for a student that have not taken Spanish before, that, you know, I want to learn. It's a requirement anyway, so, and we have three levels. I teach. Yes. One, mostly we learn the auditory, we learn, um, Mostly listening to the sounds and making the sounds, and not a whole concentration on reading and writing. French two is grammar, mostly grammar, because you've got to put all those pieces together at some point. And French three and four is a mixed class, and we do um, we do a lot of talking in there and reading and writing. 